The Bank of the Bahamas is putting its money where its mouth is, expanding its reach for the ordinary Bahamian. Prime Minister Philip Davis addressing the opening of the 13th branch on John F. Kennedy Drive, admonishing the bank to establish itself as an asset to Bahamians. As we continue to grow and prosper as a nation, our citizens must have access to the resources they need to build a better future for themselves and their families. Whether it's through affordable mortgage options, small business loans, or other financial products, the Bank of the Bahamas should be committed to supporting Bahamian entrepreneurs and helping our citizens achieve their dreams. Donna Harding Lee, BOB Chairman, on the health of the bank. We have been encouraged by recent positive developments in the economy and banking on the whole. The bank has seen an upswing in business, be it, be it account openings, mortgages, loans, credit cards, or other services that the bank offers. Bank of the Bahamas will celebrate 35 years of existence this October, and we are proud to be in business. Yes, there have been challenges, and continue to be challenges, but that makes us more determined to succeed. We are proud of some of our achievements, and the opening of this branch is indeed one of them. The Prime Minister also applauding BOB's Family Island presence. As Prime Minister, I am committed to ensuring that all Bahamians have access to the financial services they need to build a better future for themselves and their families. An estimated 18% of our population is unbanked meaning roughly 70,000 Bahamians do not have access to vital banking services. This is an alarming figure. As a boy growing up in Old Bike, Cat Island, I know firsthand what it feels like to be estranged from the economic architecture of the nation. Bike of the Bahamas has long recognized the need to serve the widest cross-section of our nation possible. Keeping you in the know, this is OPM Press Now.